You girls uh, certainly aren't lacking for energy, I'll give you that. Professor Takahata! <laughs> Getting into schoolyard brawls is hardly the ladylike behavior I've come to expect. Uh, sorry, sir. And you there. I apologize for my former student's conduct. But then again, you older students should know better by now than to pick on middle schoolers, don't you think? Uh, yes, sir. Takamichi got him to stop in no time at all. I never could have managed that. Professor Takahata is so good at what he does, isn't he? He has such a commanding presence. Wow, you still really got it bad for him, huh? Even after all this time. I thought you'd made the switch to Negi. He's cute, too. Cute like an obnoxious baby brother, maybe. But as a teacher, I'd say he's about as good as a pimple on prom night. Come on, don't you think you're being too tough on him? She's got a point, Konaka. Even you have to admit Negi's teaching style leaves plenty to be desired. What'd you expect? He's only ten. It's not his fault. Yeah, I guess Professor Takahata was a little more experienced as a teacher. You should all be ashamed of yourselves. And here I thought you were such big fans of Professor Springfield. Cut him some slack. I mean, geez, he's obviously doing the best he can, guys. <laughs> Asuna, weren't you the one who started this whole thing? So? That doesn't mean I can't end it, too. Whatever you say. We should probably get going now. We've got a volleyball game to play. He exudes such authority. I hope one day I can command that sort of respect. Professor Springfield, uh, I hear you had a run-in with the high school girls. Uh, yes, but Tokamichi came to my rescue before things got out of hand. I'm trying my best to live up to his example, but he sets the bar high. <laughs> you don't have to try so hard. Abilities like Professor Takahata's come with age and experience. You can't rush those things. Worry about being the best Negi you can be and let him be the best Takamichi. I'll try that. You're very wise yourself. Professor Negi! Come quick. It's those mean high school girls. Again? It's free period, and we're about to play volleyball. Takamichi... ...isn't the answer. I'm the homeroom teacher. It's my responsibility. Come on, let's go settle this. Right. What's the problem? This time we were here first, so it's ours. Go find a jungle gym to play on. <sighs> You're just doing this to get back at us, you the jerks. The high school has its own court reserved especially for you. Why do you keep coming all the way over here to use ours? What difference does it make anyway? It's all part of the same big happy Mohora family. This is so not fair. You guys are acting like spoiled babies. Yeah, well, you are babies. Come over here and say that. Why don't we settle this with a little old-fashioned butt kickery? Fine, but we'll need a lot of feet to kick your big back. Time out, girls, please! Hey, Nettie, Professor Springfield. I forbid you to fight. But they took our course. Yeah, but we were here first this time. <sighs> Let me think. Oh, I've got it. Why don't you share the court? You can both use it at the same time. If you play a round of volleyball against one another. Great idea. <sighs> All right, then, it's a challenge. If we lose this match, then we'll give you back your precious court for good with the solemn promise never to return again. Agreed? <laughs> Wait! That's really easy for you to say you guys are a lot bigger and stronger than we are! You're right about that. You're no match for us in volleyball. We'll play a game where it pays to be a smaller target. Dodgeball. We'll even throw in a handicap, to be fair. Let's make it 11 on our side versus 22 on yours. <laughs> It's not what I get in mind. We accept your terms. Hurling things at you sounds like fun. And by the way, if we win, then we get to keep a joyful little Maggie here all to ourselves. What? what? 